this. I don't know where to put it. I guess. <laughs> you would think it's what? Uh, 5 a.m. <laughs> in the morning with the sun just coming up. But if that's what you think, it's totally wrong. It's quarter to 11 p.m. in Dawson City, uh, Yukon. And uh, evidently here, the sun sets at 12.45 a.m. and then rises back up at 3.15 a.m. And this behind me, what you see, is 11 p.m. sun. You know, it's a, uh, that's why if you travel around here, you need eye cover when you sleep because this is nuts. the gold rush and Madame Tremblay she was uh, a girl from the French part of Canada like me and she came here for her honeymoon imagine how romantic it was and she was really popular because she had a store uh, for dresses for caviar champagne dresses everything even if it's in the middle of nowhere. Stretch number four was evidently built back in 1913 and is a huge, one of the biggest dredges in North America. And at the time, I am told it only took three people to operate, 
one person to operate the arm in front, one person to operate the electricity, and one person to fix things as they broke. And we are quite a few miles away from Dawson City, and from, again, I'm told, that the noise could be heard at Dawson City of this thing working. This dredge was in operation for about 46 years and it is said that it brought in about eight tons of gold material. Which eight tons, that's a lot of gold. Hmm. Don't make your pan. Okay, good. Now shake it back down. Okay, right in your pile. So what you really want to do is have your gold in the crease. Perfect. Okay, now gently dip. Just what you were doing. Yep, keep going. And get that fine stuff out. Very gently. That's going to be my down payment for my next house. <laughs> All right. That'll get you the that'll get you the doorknob. A little yeah. bit cleaner. So Even if that. <laughs> gently, gently. Dip. It's worth more than you think because really? the price of gold is really high right now. Huh. Bonanza. I'm rich. I'm rich. You got some dirt. Here's the here's my gold. We are going to Vegas now. Here you go. So what I do with my gold? Just keep it.
Well, my final thought about Dawson City is that it's like a, a stage city. Everything is, a lot of buildings are owned by Park Canada and just preserved. Uh, people live there, though I don't know, I mean, there's nothing much to do. There's no industry, it's all tourists. There are a lot of hotels, there are a lot of bars, uh, pizza places, a couple of grocery stores, and that's about it. Um, people who live there work, you know, the coffee shop, the grocery store, but again, there's no industry. It is the uh, center of the Yukon, so I guess there is some government entity there, there's a clinic, but overall it just appears to me that it's a, a staged city. It's an interesting place to be, there's some, a lot of history there, uh, Jack London House and uh, Robert Service Cabin. Uh, a lot of people have passed through these places. In any event, uh, this is Dawson City. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, like it, subscribe to my channel, and until the next video, take care.